Alright, well here's something else that I got at the flea market. This is a 1960s era Admiral AM and FM tube radio. Uh, this is made in Japan, I know that. I'm not sure on the exact year, but I'm pretty sure it's from the 60s, um, judging by its design. So yeah, this is the first tube item that I own in terms of, like, radios and that stuff. And this does work. It works fairly well. I don't have it plugged in because I'm about to take the back off of it. Down here you have your power and volume. It seemed to be very popular in the 60s. Band selection for AM or FM. And your tuning dial. And then right there's your tuning indicator. Has this nice wood grain finish. Um, I only paid two dollars for this, which was a steal considering the condition that it's in. So I'm about to take the back off just to show you what the inside looks like. Maybe. Hold on a second. There we go. Just had to take the little back piece off. Let's see, there's the power cable. And there we go. I don't think this thing has ever been taken apart before, because it was a little hard for me to get those screws out. But uh, here's the chassis inside. Look at that. You can see we have a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tubes. See them there? And they all look to be Admiral tubes. Yeah, they all say Admiral on them. Uh, you can see back there the, tu the string for the tuning capacitor. Let's see if I can move it like that. You know, it does stuff. Um, on the bottom you can see some of the circuitry. Some of that stuff says Made in Japan on this. And it looks like this is real wood that they used. Though, you can never be too sure. Right here's the AM antenna. Over here's the FM antenna. And this actually has a thing on the power cable. The power cable screws onto the FM antenna terminal. And that's how you get your reception. And then, of course, you could use an external antenna if you wanted. But that's what the inside of this looks like. And then you can see back there's the speaker. So yeah, it looks like this is still running off of orig all original components. Can't be entirely sure about that. But everything seems to be original. But I don't know. So let's uh, put this back together. Put the cover back on the top. That secured. Get the FM antenna thing secure. And we can screw that back in. Maybe. <laughs> Set the camera down for a minute so it's easier to do. Try to do that without stripping the screw. So let's uh, plug this into the wall. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's uh, plug this into the wall. And give it a shot. Will the cord reach? Not quite. Let's move this back a little bit. Nah, still not quite. So, uh, we'll uh, plug this in. Maybe. Damn it. These things are not easy to. There we go. So now that the cord's connected, we will power it on. And of course, the tubes need some time to warm up. Usually takes a good 10, 15 seconds. 
then you'll start to hear music. Through August, Reb Beach, lead guitarist for Winger and Whitesnake, gets the season revved up. On Tuesday, April 15th, featuring King Cool Donny Iris as guest bartender in the Cigar Bar. Join Jurgles and the Bucks for a winning season and check the website for upcoming... So let's do a band scan. The built-in antenna. Very thank me picking up a station there. Coming a symbol of personal struggle in a region where sex abuse and human trafficking is sold to familiar. Dickens is on the first state visit to Britain by an Irish head of state. But if you close your eyes, early for pregame happy hour from five to seven. Kane Saloon, located at twenty. And nineteen. The Pennsylvania lottery numbers every night here on WJPA. Brought to you by. Rejoice in all the good going on in your life. Brought to you by 84 Lumber, where you are project. Um, actually, a planned commute. That's AM. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's FM. Let's uh, switch to AM. ordained a priest in 2006. Oh, beautiful. We're asking uh, kind of a, I think, a very pertinent question, which is what... And that was handily in the no mouse fight. Sure, all anybody... Back here at PNC Park. Sorry, it's starting to get a little warm in the back. Where the power transformer is. So that's the 1960s era Admiral AM and FM tube radio. Um, definitely works pretty well. There's a little bit of background hum, so I might look into that. But other than that, it seems to be working fine. Now, I'm sure if I hook this up to an external antenna, it would definitely improve reception a good bit, so I'd be able to pick up more stations. But uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.